what's giddy? So, a lot of times people ask me what's some of the things that I do during the day, and one of those things is retro game shopping. I'm not looking for anything particular, but I have a good feeling I'm going to find something good today. What's goody? Another day with Queen G22. I'm in front of Fire and Ice game store. It's my first time here, Rockland, California, beautiful Northern California. It's a wonderful sunny day. I haven't been here before. The reviews have been great, so let's go check it out. Holy shit, do you see this? This place is crazy. Oh my God, I don't know why I haven't been here much sooner. Check this place out. Okay, what's up? I am Queen G22. Nice to meet you. Ryan. You are? Ryan Strubble. This is my place, Fire Nice Games. This is your place? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I don't live far from here. How long has this place been here? We've been around about 16 months, but we just opened this place on the 29th. I wanted to create something crazy that people would just gravitate to and just love to be here. So. Yeah, okay, so this is brand new. Because I was about to be like, dude, shame on me for not knowing this is here. We were this tucked is away. amazing. Yeah. So tell me about, like, what you got going on? You guys, are you guys just selling games, consoles? We're a little bit of everything in the collectible market, honestly. We, we do games all the way dating back to Nintendo through PS5. We do uh, card games, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh. We're into grading atmosphere too, so we'll grade games, we'll grade cards. We're you guys will grade games? Yeah. So like, like what I, WADA Games does? You do yeah. that kind of stuff? That's how I build my dream, actually. I come from no money, stuff like that. I just I been in you. the community doing tra uh, trading, buying, that kind of stuff. I sold three games for $141,000 to build my dream debt-free. Jesus. So, yeah. I feel like I am buying like so much stuff mm -hmm. again now as an adult. Because my parents would make me sell stuff, you know, as a kid. Yeah, to buy the next thing. Right? Yeah. Like, you're not playing the Nintendo anymore. Now you want a Super Nintendo. And now, as an adult, I got to go and buy it back. 100%. So, I feel you. So, also, dude said you guys have tournaments here? Oh, big time. Yeah, we're... Uh, last Saturday, or the Saturday before that, we had the second largest tournament in the world for the week yeah. for Smash. Smash I think Brothers, Texas okay. was number one, and somewhere out of the country was number three. Uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing big things. It's just the start of it. Okay. So what about like are you doing other like fighting tournaments like Mortal yeah, Kombat, Street Fighter? Oh, yeah, actually both those titles are their new ones are coming out soon. So right. that's what we're gearing up towards to be able to do that. And yeah, this place will be cracking tonight. We'll have 80 plus players here tonight, and we have people coming from Nevada, down south. Everyone just coming here to play here. And wow. So what what's the stakes then? Oh, uh, like what they win and stuff. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, just. Uh, I know our our big prize last week was I think seven eight hundred bucks for first place. Okay, I'll and take it. it. Yes, yeah, you, you know you get the ego and be like, dude, I won that shit. Let's go. These boys are killers though, and these girls, man, there's some crazy. Have you ever had anyone just be like, you know, so upset oh, and like throw something Oh, they're something pumped, over? man. This this some of these people, this is life. I this feel is, it. This is their community. This is what they love. It's their passion. Yeah. So they really beat themselves up when they don't get that dub. Right. I feel that. I really appreciate you letting me, you know, come through. Is it yeah. all right if we take a look? Please do, man. I appreciate you guys coming out. All righty. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. This is amazing. Uh, as soon as you come in the door, I mean, we have a massive collection of Nintendo games. Like, the first thing you see. We also have a few uh, in box. We're gonna check out the Super Mario Brothers later because I think I need to take that home today. Super Nintendo collection right here. We've got the zappers down here. There's a lot of stuff. It's kind of overwhelming. So let's take a look. Y'all know I don't play a lot of PlayStation, but this collection of games is, is legit. Exclusive sets for the Switch. I never really got into Toki. I wish I got in more into Metroid. That shit looks tough as fuck. $400. <laughs> How about going back and getting the original Game Boys? Now these things are $100. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. This is clean now. Oh, Rampage. I feel like I should have Rampage only because I adored this game so much as a kid. 
even met the uh, the creator at RetroCon. Pretty dope. I think I might have to take that home. That's a classic. So it looks quiet right now, right? Because it's a Friday afternoon, kids are in school, all kinds of stuff. Apparently this place, like dude said, gets crazy packed and this is where they have all types of tournaments and stuff like that. So you don't get this type of space, this type of environment in a lot of gaming areas, at least not close to me. Okay, so I'm ready to do some shopping. Let's do it. All right. I feel like as a gamer fan, especially Nintendo, mm -hmm. please tell me that Super Mario game is complete in box. Yeah, it is complete in box. That's one of the Special, special title for sure. So there's a manual in there. Let's hope so. Let me go make sure I'm not going <laughs> to grab a ladder. Yeah, we're taking it home. <laughs> I just feel like I have to have that Super Mario Brothers, the original, the first game. That is the game that has started my probably addiction and unhealthy relationship with video games. You went straight to top shelf. Yeah. So then if you do your grading, then I could bring it back here and you're going to grade it too? I could do that for you if you want. Yeah. You got to be very careful with these because the hang tabs, you can pop them out big time. Sure. I see a Manny in there. Ladies and gentlemen, that looks like a manual. It's 100%. It does. So we've got the game in there, we've got the, the cartridge, we've got the, the case, the little the black case around it. We've got the manual that is the original Super Mario Brothers here at Fire and Ice in Queen G22 Bye. is gonna take it home. Let's do it. Okay, I've always wanted to get this complete inbox, y'all. So I'm yeah. really excited, especially for my first time being here. Winning. All about that nostalgia, yo. Thank you so much for stopping through. Oh, of course. All right, so now we are on our way to One Up Retro Video Games. It's in downtown Sacramento. What's up, NorCal? Unfortunately, I went to go stop by this retro store that I frequently shop at, and they said no filming, no promotional advertising or anything. So I am unable to get this store on here but i guess it's a good thing because i will also no longer be shopping there it was it was it was about the delivery the, the delivery on how they were like no we don't want you up in here you're not gonna shoot so it's cool um i guess that's how they do their things and i will no longer be shopping there so now i'm off to a one up retro video game store who is happy to have me and uh wants to promote their their business and um, I think we're going to find some good stuff there, too. All right, we're here in downtown Sacramento, Northern California. And we are about to check out 1UP Retro Video Game Store. Let's see what they got. All right, so we are in 1UP Retro Gaming or Retro Video Game Store? 1UP Retro Video Games. 1UP Retro Video Game Stores. And you are? Travis. Travis? Yes. I'm Queen G22. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So this store has been here for a little while, right? Yeah, we just came up on two and a half years last month. Two and a half years. Dude, yeah. that's fucking awesome. I've only been in here one other time. I came in here with my mom. Yeah. And I picked up a Game Gear. Oh, nice. Right? Because <laughs> I did one of those stupid moves where I had Game Gear. I had Game Gear packed, all the games, and then I sold it. Oh, no, yeah. Like yeah, a dumbass. Right? right? So <laughs> I had to rebuy it again. So what's the story? How did this come to be? Like, why is this here? Yeah. Um, it was something I kind of always wanted to do. Um, right I knew I wanted to do my own shop. 
Uh, we didn't have anything in like downtown or midtown. Middle I've lived down here yeah. for like 10 years and it's like yeah. nothing around here. Uh, and then fewer and fewer mom and pop stores, you know, it's like something I want to keep alive for other generations. And it's really cool like to get little kids coming like interested in NES yeah. stuff. And it's like, hey, I want to show them this thing. Oh, I totally am. You're a virtual gamer. <laughs> yep. So what are you? Are you more Nintendo or Sega? Um, I'd say growing up, I was definitely more Nintendo. All right, and then... cut. No, just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, when I got older, I got more into Sega and PlayStation, um, but I still play a lot of Nintendo stuff. What is your favorite old school franchise? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'd say, for me, it's probably a toss up between Final Fantasy and Legend of Zelda. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so are you all over the new uh, Zelda game right now? Yeah, uh, it's funny. I just barely started it because um, I, I just finished Breath of the Wild. I really like explored oh, a lot in that. Yeah, it. I got it the day it launched and uh, I'm like trying to 100% it. Oh. And then it came out like Tears of the Kingdom was coming out and I was like, I gotta go fight Ganon. You gotta I finish still it. Haven't done it yet. Yeah, you can't finish it. You can't go to the next one without finishing it. Right, okay. right. I am actually uh, Mario and Donkey Kong. Oh, What's nice. up? So if it's cool with you, we're going to take a look around the shop. Yeah. I'm going to do some shopping because I always end up spending money when I don't need to. But I appreciate you having us here. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks a lot. Have fun. little PlayStation 2 section. Too bad. I'm not really into PlayStation. <laughs> not a whole school Nintendo power. Oh, remember Goosebumps? I didn't realize these were for sale. Damn. PS5, PS4. That's the game right there. Whoop! Let's see. Nintendo Wii? I still got my Wii, and my Wii still works. If they had Ready to Rumble? If they had Ready to Rumble, I'm taking that home. I do not see it. Nice little collection of Wii U games. Fun little tidbit fact about me. I never owned a Wii U. So when these games started to port to the Switch, <laughs> I thought these were brand new games. They're not. They're games that started on the Wii U. All Wii U games. Awesome though. It almost makes it feel like maybe I should have, maybe I should invest in a Wii U. All right, so I think what is gonna tickle my fancy is if we find some real old school retro games. So let's look at that. I already have that game. Uh, complete inbox and graded 7.0, but we still love to see it. I think I might come home with this Double Dragon though. I think I might come home with that. I've always wanted to play Xenoblades Chronicles X. I'm a huge Xenoblades fan. My favorite one is Definitive Edition. And the people who love Xenoblades always say that Chronicles X is the best game in the series. I do not own a Wii U, so I will never get to play it in my lifetime. Sucks! I'm not gonna go buy a Wii U just to play the damn game. That's like buying a PS just to play God of War. Even though it's a whole series, this is just one game. Stress. Double Dragon A Classic. Let's see. This looks to be CIB. We've got our cartridge. We've got our manual. And we've got our Nintendo generic case. 
boxing is not in perfect shape, but for me, it's totally about the memories and uh, A mode and B mode when you would accidentally be able to hit your teammate and then it would start a fight because you ended up fucking up your partner. Thank you. You got it. Thanks, Ryan. So that pretty much does it. That was a full day with Queen G22. Three game stores. Two, they let us come in. One, they told me to fuck off, which is fine. Got some lunch, got some drinks, and uh, now I've got some really dope ass gaming stuff, so. I'm gonna go test out this Double Dragon game when I get home. I'm gonna put this in the Lioness Den game room, and I will see you guys on my next video. Don't ever fucking play with me. Y'all niggas know y'all bitches know I'm the fucking queen.